Teresa Borowski was on the verge of giving up. Overweight all of her life, it was out of control two years ago at 428 pounds. But she did do something. She lost the weight and is finally living life. 9 and 10's Eric Lloyd has part one of our special report, Losing to Live. I've never been a normal size, ever. I weighed nine pounds when I was a baby, born. Never, ever been normal. Teresa Borowski was a long way from normal size. At the age of 47, she was slowly dying due to her weight. I could barely take care of myself. I weighed 428 pounds. I was at the point of just about selling my home and moving into assisted living because I couldn't stand up to take a shower and I could barely function. I'm just about ready to give up. But as you can see, she did not give up. She has lost more than 275 pounds in just two years. It's hard for me to fathom someone losing part of their body that's more than I weigh. The tipping point, the motive to get moving, wasn't a doctor recommendation. It wasn't being fed up with her wheelchair. It was a case of sibling rivalry back in 2011. So on March 1st, my sister called me on the phone and she said, um, I've got a date for the surgery. I'm having bariatric surgery. And I begged her, please don't do this. I'm so afraid. What if something happens? And we kind of exchanged, you know, a tense conversation. I hung up the phone and I said, you know, I'm going to show her. I'll show you. Right then, she poured out all of her sugary drinks, threw out her junk food, and went to bed with a new mindset. And I never looked back, just like that. I didn't tell anybody what I was doing. From that moment, whatever happened in my head, I never looked back. When starting at 428 pounds, it's easy to see massive weight loss quickly, but it was still eight to 10 months before she was freed from this wheelchair, and after that, another two to three months before she could walk without a cane. We had a little, it was almost a, a, a private joke where I could know when Teresa was coming to my office because I'd hear the whir of the wheelchair coming down the hall. One day she was at my door standing up. I'm not sure we may have danced a jig in the hall that day. Take a look at the old Teresa at 428 pounds. Now look at the Teresa of today, down to about 150 pounds. She has lost 14 pant sizes and moving better than she has in decades. All without having surgery or a trendy diet. Just the old adage of watching what you eat. Holy smokes. I'm having 7,000 calories a day. I started reading labels. I started switching. And I maintained about 1,000, 1,200 calories a day. Teresa knows the challenges of changing her life for the better aren't easy. And she uses her success as a tool. She works with students at Mid-Michigan Community College that are struggling to stay in school. And it's hard to say, I can't do something, to a woman who's lost nearly 300 pounds. When students come in that office and they're talking to Teresa and she can say, that used to be me, that used to be my chair, and you can do it. First of all, absolutely, positively, you can do this. Just the mere fact of the enormity of the task. Pardon the pun, too big um, for us to be able to tackle. So in that sense, I think we all have something to take out. Teresa says her life is not perfect. She struggles to recognize herself in the mirror. She is still finding out who thin Teresa really is. But for a woman who's about to turn 50, she feels like she's living for the first time ever. Yeah, I used to wonder how if I was going to make it to the next day, and now I'm wondering what am I going to do with the rest of my life. In Harrison, Eric Lloyd, 9 and 10 News at 6. In case you were wondering, Teresa says her sister has lost more than 125 pounds from her weight loss surgery. Now tonight on 9 and 10 News at 11, we will have part two of Teresa's story, focusing on the health risks that come with being so heavy and what you can do to help yourself like Teresa did.